All right, so you want to eat at Moe's, but you don't want to look like you just ate Mo. In that case, stick around and I'll show you just how to do that. Okay guys, before I get started with this, I just want to mention my lips are really chapped and they look like crap. This is because back in high school I had really bad acne and I had to take an acne medicine that completely destroyed like the whole process of creating oil on my face and stuff like that. So when, it, when the weather changes and stuff like that, my face gets extremely dry. My hands are always extremely dry and that just gives me really bad chapped lips, so just try to ignore that. But right off the bat, I just want to mention, while I am going to outline how to eat healthy at Moe's, I don't recommend eating out or eating fast food all the time. What I'd really recommend is eating more homemade foods, more whole foods, things with even proper macros, a lot of natural, even organic stuff. Doing this will keep you healthy, it'll make your skin clear, it'll just make you feel a lot better than if you were to just go and eat Moe's every day, even if you're eating healthy at Moe's. This guide I'm going to give you is only sort of a way to keep your calories low and get your macros straight at Moe's while still being able to eat a, f a decent meal there. There's still micronutrients that you might be getting too much of or too little of from eating here. Specifically, most fast foods contain a lot of salt and sugar, sodium, stuff like that. Both of these can cause breakouts, fatigue, water retention, dehydration, and a bunch of other stuff when they're consumed in excess. But if they're kept within your daily amounts, they can actually help you out a lot. But only if consumed correctly, which eating at Moe's every day isn't going to help you do that. But since you made it this far into the video, I know you guys love your sweet, sweet Mexican food. 
but you just want to find a way to eat it without it going to your buns and thighs. Buns and thighs, right? Yeah, buns and thighs. So now I'll actually get into how to eat healthy at Moe's. The very first step I always take when going out to eat somewhere is to look up that restaurant's website and to see if they have a nutritional menu or even a nutritional calculator if you're lucky enough that that restaurant has one. This allows you to get an idea of the calories or even the specific macros of an item on the menu and then in turn will help you pick out things that'll be optimal for your diet in terms of macros and calories. Oh, I gotta get the freaking Moe's calculator out, hold on. Thankfully, Moe's actually has a nutrition calculator on their website. One thing to remember though, is at Moe's, all these meals are handmade. Not every burrito or every bowl or every salad is going to be the same. So the, the nutrition calculator is not going to be 100% accurate, but it'll really help you to get as accurate as possible while still going out. So when you're going out and you're not able to measure or make the food yourself, it's pretty much as close as you're going to get. So take advantage of this, it's extremely valuable. Another option to use MyFitnessPal's food and meal database. It's based off the community and so many people have put their meals and all their macros and everything and it all goes onto the database for people to use, including even the large portion of the Moe's menu and it's on here for anybody to use. So if your meal matches the description of their meal, you can just go on here and use that. And it's already on MyFitnessPal, you just tap it, it goes straight into your calories for the day and you don't have to do anything else. It saves you that extra step of going to the Moe's Nutrition Calculator and putting all that stuff in yourself. And I constantly say how I would literally not be able to live without my fitness pal. So definitely a recommendation. Now the fun part, what are some Moe's options that you can eat that aren't gonna send you into cardiac arrest? I'm going, I'm going. Or at least won't ruin your calories and macros for the day. The simple answer is pretty much anything on the menu. Because everything on the Moe's menu is extremely customizable, you can actually go here without completely engorging yourself. You can make anything on the menu, low carb, high carb, low fat, high fat, low protein, high protein, whatever you need, you can actually just add or remove those items from your meal item. Because of that, this is why like this place is one of my favorite places to go. If it's like a cheat day or if it's post workout, stuff like that, just to get that energy intake back and to get that nice tasting Mexican food. But I'm sure you guys came here for more specifics, so I'll give that to you. My usual go-to at Moe's is generally the earmuffs, which is really just a bowl, and that's essentially just a burrito without the tortilla. And this helps cut down from all the carbs from the tortilla, which is almost always gonna be like enriched flour and all that stuff that you really don't need. Instead, all the carbs come from the rice, beans, and other vegetables. But okay, for the main protein, my Moe's only has one chicken, or type of chicken, so we're gonna go with what that is, which is the adobo chicken. But they also have steak, pork, ground beef, fish, organic tofu, all that kind of stuff. So if you are vegan or pescatarian, or you just like steak or pork better than chicken, you can go with those. Chicken's actually the highest calorie item on this, but it's the protein you want to, if you're going to go high in calories, you're going to go high in calories on the protein. And there's not a massive calorie difference between them all, so you can pretty much go with whatever you want. But like I said, chicken is just my go-to, so I just prefer that. Next step is beans. You can get beans, you can not get beans. I usually get beans just for the extra, a little extra protein, a little extra carbs, stuff like that. But if you're not a bean person, luckily everything's customizable, so you can just not get beans and you'll be perfectly fine. I'm more of a pinto bean person myself, and it's, a, it's like 9 calories less. It doesn't really matter. That's such a small amount, but I'm going to go with the pinto beans. And now for the fresh ingredient section. For the rice, again, not a huge calorie difference. Again, if you don't eat rice, you don't have to get rice. I'm going to get rice because I love rice. And I always go with the seasoned rice. I'm not really a big fan of the cilantro lime rice. It's also 38 calories more. And because it's that much more, if they give you a bigger scoop, it's just, I don't know. Seasoned rice is less overall, so I'm just going to go with that. From here on, it's all vegetables salsas and extras. When it comes to vegetables, you're pretty much free to add whatever you want. So honestly, I'm just going to go with some some fresh jalapenos. Uh, what else? Some grilled onions, pickled jalapenos, and lettuce, and some pico de gallo. So it's all just vegetables, all carbs, all getting those servings of vegetables in. They're pretty much all under 10 calories, so it doesn't really matter, except for the grilled onions, but those are fine anyways because it's only 23 calories. It's nothing incredible, nothing dangerous. Now you have the option to add sour cream, cheese, ranch, and other extras and dressings and stuff. For these, I almost always avoid every single one of them. Dressings are notorious for being bombs when it comes to sodium, sugars, carbohydrates, all that extra stuff you don't need. So just one serving of dressing in a meal can be the difference between a hazardous and a healthy meal. When it comes to dairy products and toppings of that sort, I tend to avoid them as well 
just because it's some extra fat that I don't need and I'm on a rather relatively low fat diet. They they tend to be pretty high in calories, like a serving of shredded cheese is 121 calories. Same with sour cream, it's like 70 calories just for probably a spoonful of sour cream. It's really not worth it. And honestly, I'm not a fan of sour cream, so I'm just going to avoid that. And whoever is making a meal can end up putting a lot of excess cheese and stuff on there. And with the rest of this meal, you're going to be getting in more than enough fat, so you really don't have to worry about the cheese and the dairy product. And then you also have the option to add guac. If it was homemade guacamole, it'd probably be better. But with this guacamole, it probably has a ton of sodium or a ton of sugar in it. So I generally just want to avoid that. I'm also not a big fan of guacamole, so I'm not going to get it anyways. So, for my example of my usual earmuffs, it comes out to a total of 617 calories. And personally, I usually account for a little bit higher than this when I'm doing all my estimations in my fitness pal, just because of the possibility of them putting more than like a serving size in there. But for me, 617 calories fits perfectly. Only 14 grams of fat, sodium is a bit high at 1591, but again, like I said, because this is only like a once in a while meal, if you get caught out going to Mo's with some friends and stuff like that, you can still get a meal with a lot of sodium. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to ruin all your gains. If anything, in a, in a bit when you go to work out, it might actually give you a bit of a bigger pump, depending on the amount of sodium and whatnot. But you should be fine if it's a once in a while thing. Again, wouldn't do it all the time. There's actually a whopping 98 grams of carbs in here, which for me, that's why I go after a workout to get that carb refilled back in. And then also the 36 grams of protein, which is really good. But always just remember, if you do go out to eat and stuff like that, adjust for it either later in the day or later in the week if you go over. Also remember, at Moe's, you can have anything changed, anything customized. So if you need to add or remove stuff to reach your macro goals, that's perfectly fine. For me, these macros are actually perfect most of the time. A lot of people, you could even go with a salad, and I'm pretty sure the salads actually cut this in half because they take out like over half the carbs I think you end up with like maybe 30 grams of carbs and that's all from the lettuce and stuff like that but yeah just don't freak out if mine seem high or anything this is just what I usually get because it fits my eating habits and now the meal does come with like chips and salsa and stuff like that I usually just completely avoid them or if they give them to you because they're free with your meal I just like give them to a friend or something like that just because it's extra carbs and fat that I don't need. It's 390 calories for that. That's a lot of calories. And I don't need to be having a 900 calorie meal. So those are something you can definitely avoid. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about drinks or anything. Mostly because I'm a big proponent of not taking in any calories from beverages. Only from food. It, with the exception of like protein shakes and stuff like that. Otherwise, I generally just stick to water and zero calorie beverages. Just because your calories should help you feel full. And if they don't, when you're on a cut and stuff like that, you just end up struggling more. With beverages and stuff like that that have a lot of calories in them, I don't feel full or anything from them. And then I just end up taking in more calories than I should. So I definitely recommend just sticking to water. But yeah, I actually went through and did the macros and everything for a salad. And actually came out to 329, 330 calories. So it actually cuts it in half. Only one third of the carbs is from the bowl. So if you're looking for a lower carb, lower calorie option, definitely go with something like this. It also gives you some calorie room for dressing and stuff like that if you wanted to add that. As long as you're looking in the right places and being honest with yourself, it's definitely not hard to find healthy options wherever you go. This video is specifically Moe's, but pretty much any restaurant you go to, it's not going to be hard to find healthy meals, especially if you're going with an if it fits your macros concept. There's always going to be ways to lose weight or to just stay healthy in general. But I go into more depth with that in my IIFYM video or if it fits your macros video, so we'll leave that link in the description if you want to check that out. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you guys. I'll leave the links to the Mo's calculator down below as well as my fitness pal and the IFYM calculator. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this on different restaurants or if you want me to go more in depth into Mo's and find the actual best meals that you can make at Mo's in terms of macros and calories. Let me know and I will definitely do that. Also in general just if there's anything you want to see me do in a video let me know. I'll try and do it or I'll try to find a way to make it my own and make a video on it. Just let me know and I'll do my best to accommodate. I love reading any comments you guys leave and again I hope this helped you guys if you enjoyed the video and this helped you leave a like think about subscribing because i have videos like this all the time i'm going to make be making more videos like this and as always keep progressing stay strong and i'll see you next time